Hi, I'm Alanda. Welcome back. This is my weekly update. I am Alanda. I'm a 47 year old mother of six, a school teacher, and I am on a weight loss journey. I am currently taking Zepbound. I'm on 7.5 milligrams. I started back in February, February 7th. Um, and the whole point was for me to be able to lose weight and create a new, healthier lifestyle. So this was my first official week back at work. Like I said, I'm a school teacher, I'm a high school teacher. So it was all about moving, getting your room in order, and a ton of meetings. Uh, Lord help us with these meetings. I mean, I know they're necessary. There are a lot of discussions on new policies, new protocols, how we're gonna handle this discipline action, how we're gonna talk to parents. So I understand we need the meetings, but I kid you not. I'd say about 90% of the meetings I went to had candy. Everywhere I turned, they were giving out little snack sizes of candy. And even when I didn't even walk up to the desk to get the candy, it was sitting on a desk. Like, oh, we've already put out candy for y'all. You know, let's get going. So I do appreciate the method of trying to jazz us up, but I'm on a weight loss journey and um, temptations like candy really get me. So in all transparency, uh, come Wednesday and Thursday, I was giving in. Yeah, I was looking for Kit Kats and Twix. The little single, Kit Kats and Twix. I probably had about four in the last two days. Again, I'm just being transparent. Um, yeah, yeah. But even before that, so I did mention last week on my last video that I had a doctor's appointment on Monday. So my doctor and I met, she and I discussed my, uh, my last three months and what to do moving forward. Um, as stated, she was like, what do you wanna do? I think you should probably move up to 10 milligrams, but what do you wanna do? Cause I've been on 7.5 for 10 weeks. Been on 7.5 for 10 weeks. It's been a slow 10 weeks, but I've been on it. Um, as she and I were talking, I told her, you know, I was a little concerned cause her scale, her office scale was different than my home scale. Her in office scale showed that I weighed 221 pounds. I don't remember the point right offhand, but 221 pounds, and that's not possible. Like, I couldn't have gained almost five pounds in Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and four days. Like, is that possible? Because <laughs> I don't think it's possible. Not when I gave myself the injection on Friday. Saturday, I barely even eat because I'm so sleepy. And then Sunday, you know, it's like a regular day. So uh, she said, no, it's probably um, that you're retaining water, your sodium intake, and that caused us to have a conversation. Even when I was at the doctor's office, I had my water. Actually, there's, there's ice in here, I promise you. I'm pretty sure there is. I've been drinking it all day. Yeah, there's, there's ice in there. So I even had it with me. And um, I'm like, no, I've been drinking my water. And she was like, are you sure? And I said, yeah, yeah, you know, I think I'm good, but I just don't understand how I gained almost five pounds in four days. And so she and I got to talking and she said, take off your ring. And by the way, okay, so I've had this ring for a long time, um, but I couldn't, you know, gain in weight. At some point I couldn't wear it anymore. So when I got to, what was it? 235, I think. Um, I whipped out my jewelry box and put it on and it slid on and off with no problems. Um, and I had an appointment when I saw her at that point. So I, you know, I was like, hey, I'm back to wearing jewelry. Uh, so she was like, take off your ring. And when I took off my ring and it's still happening, you see that? It's leaving the, the mark. And she was like, yeah, I think you're retaining water because I don't remember that mark. Um when you were here before and you're lighter, like you, you've you lost more weight since three months ago. And I was like, oh damn, you're right. I'm, I guess I am retaining water. And even on my legs, 
when she was kind of touching on them, you could, uh, you could feel it. Like, you know, I, you could feel it. It's just something that wasn't on my mind. Like, I was more concerned about the fat, if you will say, um, on the scale, not so much the water retention. So that caused us to start at, talking. Plus, you know, like I said, I had my water. So I was like, no, mm -mm, I'm drinking my water. And as we were talking, there was something that I did not expect to hear her say. I kid you not. There's something I did not expect to hear her say. And as we talked, it made sense. So now I'm going to give my disclaimer now. I'm Alonda. I'm a lady on a weight loss journey. I am not a medical profession. Um, my doctor is my doctor, not your doctor. But as she and I were discussing what I eat and what I drink all day, she suggested that I pull back on the electrolytes. I know, right? You didn't expect to hear that. Yeah, she suggested that I pull back on the electrolytes because the form of exercise that I'm using right now, which is water aerobics and afternoon walks. One second. Christian, can you turn that down? I'm not sure if y'all are gonna be able to hear his TV in the background, so. Um, but I'm doing water aerobics and um, walking in the evenings three times a week with the weighted vest. So I've been moving, but what I'm doing is not causing me to have prolonged or a strenuous exercise, okay? So I'm not doing aerobics. I did do that one Zumba class. That was a hot mess. It was a hot mess. Um, but my workouts are not causing me to sweat to the point that I'm needing to replenish um, my electrolytes. Now, don't get me wrong. Electrolytes are good for you. They're good for hydration, they're good for muscle rebound, um, they're good for pH balance, I looked all this stuff up, and they're also good for recovery. But again, what I'm doing is not that extreme, I can't say the word, y'all know the word I'm talking about. You know, it's not pushing me, pushing me, it's working me out, but it's not pushing me, pushing me. Um, I'm not running a triathlon like my son. My son, he runs a triathlon. And then afterwards, they hand out waters and electrolytes. So the fact that I'm taking an electrolyte every day um, is causing my body to retain sodium. Yeah, it's causing my body to retain sodium. So um, she and I talked and we, you know, dove into some question answer session. <laughs> and what it boils down to is I need to pull back. Definitely not every day um, have an electrolyte, but maybe every other day, maybe even every two days have an electrolyte. Now today, I'm going to be starting Hot Works. Um, it's a little weight loss, not weight loss. It's a, like a little gym and it's hot and it's sauna and they have all kinds of little activities. I tried it last summer, I think it was last summer or maybe two summers ago. Um, and it was fine. It was fine, but I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> so it was a dollar to join. Um, if I don't like it within the first two weeks, I can call and cancel and I won't be charged for next month. So, uh, right now for August 9th through the end of the month, it has cost me $1. That's a good investment as long as I use it. So today is my first day going back since I've gone and um, I'm doing yoga. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to do hot yoga. After that, per suggestion from my doctor, then I should have electrolytes. <laughs> She's like, but you having these electrolytes every day might be too much for your body. And she's probably right because this is a 40 ounce bottle and I drink two of these a day, but yeah, I'm still retaining water. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Um, in addition to me going back to school, um, I'll, again, being honest and transparent, they've been feeding us every day, every morning, and um, 
You know, I'm not in control over how much sodium is in those meals. The first day they gave us like the little breakfast sandwich. Um, I ate the fruit. The fruit they had, oh my goodness, it was delicious. I did. I ate the fruit. Uh, Tuesday, they had Chick-fil-A biscuits, so I ate the meat. Um, I did not eat the breading. I'm not really big on the Chick-fil-A breakfast biscuit. It, I'm just not. But I ate... Um, I ate the meat itself and then I had a protein shake and my cottage cheese because I brought a little thing of cottage cheese. Wednesday, they had kolaches. So I didn't eat Wednesday. I didn't eat Wednesday. Did not eat Wednesday. I mean, I ate, I ate, but when I saw what was coming, I was like, mm, I don't want a kolache. Um, so yeah, I ended up bringing eggs, uh, a yogurt, uh, orco yogurt and my got his shoes and that's what I ate and then Thursday my door is about to open what did we have yesterday oh we had taco cabana um, breakfast tacos so I did eat one of those so even with those there were a lot of salt intake that I could not account for so adding that with electrolyte, it was just a lot. So this week I have been pulling back on the electrolytes um, because, you know, I, I need to give my body a break. My body needs to try to balance itself out. And again, I am not working out crazy. Like my daughter, who just walked past me, she's out there shooting hoops. She's going to be out there for a good hour working on shooting hoops. She's going to come back sweaty. Her twin is out there running two miles. She's gonna come back sweaty. Yes, they're gonna need some electrolytes. But if you're not doing all that, per what my doctor said, I probably shouldn't be having electrolytes every single day. So, I am going to be working on cutting back on that. I just suggest y'all check with your doctors and make sure if you are doing something extreme, uh, I can't say that word, if you're working out, and really pushing yourself then you know talk with your doctor and just see it's just something i did not foresee her saying like hey you might want to pull back on having electrolytes every day there's a lot of sodium and you know some of them some of them have calories and sugar and so yeah you know the calorie count can really be off when you're down in them so just fyi just food for thought um, I do have all my kids home, except for one. My 26-year-old is out in the sea right now on a ship, but um, everyone else is back. My 22-year-old is actually going to give me my zip-bound shot. We're going to try to do the arm, because that's another thing my doctor suggested. She said, if you're not going to go up to the 10, you know, make sure you're rotating, not just staying on your stomach. So, like, really work, work the medicine, Alonda, work the medicine. So, um, I am going to work the medicine. We know I can no longer do my thighs. Um, my thighs have too much muscle in them, and that's what's causing the bruising. Which, by the way, okay, so most of y'all know I don't like to measure. I really don't. But I do measure once a month. I will measure my neck, my, <laughs> my waist, my hips, and my right and my left thigh or not thigh, calf, my right and my left calf. And for the most part, I've been losing calf muscle, but lately I've been gaining calf muscle. So, and you can see it, like I can see it. I've been walking around um, at school all week and people have been saying, oh, I see you, Londa, I see you. Oh girl, your calves, your calves. So um, I measured today and sure enough, um, instead of the number going like this is starting to go back up on my calves. Now my waist and my hips are still going down. Yeah, we want that. We want the number to go down. But um, yeah, so that's been going pretty good. Um, I'm wearing some outfits that I haven't been able to wear in a while, like this shirt, this shirt, as you can see. Hold on, I'm gonna have to talk to a child. All right, we're back on course. Um, so yes, I've been wearing a couple outfits that I haven't been able to wear in a while, and that has been really rewarding. I like to go back in my closet and uh, 
kind of see what's going on. But I was kind of hoping this week I would break that 50 mark, but I'm just not there yet. I am not breaking the 50 mark. Um, I have lost weight. I lost 0 0.4, 0 0.4, so I am now um, 218 pounds. 218 pounds, yes, 218 pounds. But um, yeah, not at the 50 mark yet. On a side note, and then I'll wrap this up because there's really not much that happened other than my doctor saying cut back on the, um, oh, two things. Cut back on the electrolytes. Um, one of my coworkers, I'll be honest, I've been at the school, this makes year 16. She's been at the school 11 years. We see each other, but you know, it's more like, hey, hi, kind of situation. We don't ever talk. I don't, to be honest, I couldn't even tell you what classes she taught. I can now. Um, but we happened to be at a meeting and she was like, I don't mean to be rude, but are you losing weight? And I was like, yeah, I am. You know, I'm very proud right now. Um, and I was like, yeah, I am. And so she started wondering, you know, what are you doing? Are you working out? Did you really push yourself this summer? And I was like, mm, I did because I am normally non-mobile. I, I normally do not do anything per... <laughs> My fitness, um, I, I don't do anything, but I told her I was on set bound and we talked about um, the um, the insurance thing with the school district. And she was like, yeah, I've been hearing a lot of people talk about Ozempic and you know, it kind of scares me. So it was really, really nice to be able, I see I get goosebumps. It was just really, really nice to talk with her and just chit chat about weight loss. And um, her husband's job has open enrollment right now. It ends September 1st. So now she's like, I'm gonna look into, you know, if any of the insurances that they're offering are gonna cover either that bound. She doesn't have diabetes. Um, so she's going to check and see uh, what they cover. So it was just really nice to have that conversation. Um, if you notice, I am now, my last couple videos, I've been wearing my Apple Watch. When I first started this journey, I said I was going to wear my Apple Watch, but I couldn't. I could not. It was on the third. Hold on, let me show you. My watch only left three holes when I first started this weight loss journey. So it was like this, it, it had three holes, okay? It was three holes. And by the end of the day, it would be popping up like this. So I said, I'm not gonna wear it anymore. I'm gonna wait until, um, you know, I can lose enough weight where I can really get it on there and have it stay. Okay, there you go. It's not as tight as it looks. It looks tight, but it's not. Um, so kind of like the ring, once I was able to put on the ring, I tried the watch and the watch was like, no, we're not ready yet. But now we are and I've been able to document, you know, my walks and my movement. I'm gonna post that right here. Actually, no, maybe I'll do it over here. Cover up my, my refrigerator, cover up the refrigerator. <laughs> I'll do it on that side. But um, yeah, overall things have been good. There was one more thing I was supposed to tell y'all. Oh my God, what was that? Oh, so uh, my urologist is in a big medical complex and I've been going to her for, I don't know, six, seven years. Um, I know downstairs there's an eye center and across from it, I couldn't tell you what it was because I really didn't pay attention to it. Um, it had a glass door, but then it was like covered up. So I really didn't, I didn't look over there. Well, when I went to go see her on Tuesday, that was my Tuesday appointment, it's a compounding company. It was a compounding pharmacy, compounding pharmacy. So me being who I am, Miss Nosy, I ran over there and was like, hey, do y'all compound trisepatide? And she was like, yes, we add vitamin B12 into ours. And I was like, really? Uh, and this is the actual pharmacist I spoke to. Because the lady at the front counter really couldn't tell me much. She was like, I'm going to have to give you a pharmacist. <laughs> so went over to the window. The pharmacist came. She and I spoke. And she said, yes, um, they add B12. They are worried but not worried about the Lily situation. About them trying to, you know, 
get everything off the FDA shortage list. Um, but she's like, you know, there's there are ways, just like there are ways for them to stop us, there are ways for us to get around it. So news to me. Um, but what I did find was interesting, and she she was very straight and forward. She was like, we have a lot of people compounding um, tricepatide, and for theirs it runs about two nineteen, two hundred nineteen dollars for a month supply. So I was like, uh, I want to, I I want that, like, <laughs> like I I want that. Okay, that's the other one that just ran the two miles. Um, yeah, I was I was all over that, but they can't recommend doctors who prescribe it. I thought that was interesting. I guess it's a HIPAA thing. I don't know, but she was like, oh, we can't we can't even give you suggestions of uh, physicians that would prescribe. So she just basically said, get on Google, type in these words, and a list should pop up. Um, of course, some places have their own. But you can tell them, I would like to work with this other pharmacy, and they'll send the prescription. So, two nineteen um, is a nice is a nice number. Two nineteen was a nice number. So, I might be switching over to that, especially since I already have to go to that building um, to see my urologist. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a shot. I'm gonna pop in. Um, the music and the closing <laughs> and it'll be a wrap for this Friday because in about one hour I have to go to hot works and go sweat go sweat and then drink my electrolytes <laughs> so y'all take care